Hi, my name is Due and I'll be talking about queer community in Splits. Hello, my name is Oliver and I'm a trans guy who makes videos about LGBTQIA plus people where they can talk about anything that they want that somehow relates to them being queer. I recently came back home after travelling by train through Europe for three weeks and in Olomot in Czechia I met up with Duje. He's currently there as an exchange student and he will talk about his queer community at home in Split, Croatia. Uh, my name is Due Donadic, I come from Pag, Croatia but for the last five years I live and study in Split. Split is not perceived as such a homo idyllic place <laughs> in Croatia, but for me it really turned out to be that. I really met a lot of beautiful queer people and a great queer community in Split and I really feel safe and accepted in Split. It was when he moved from his hometown to Split that he came out. Five years ago when I came to Split I came from Pag, which is a very small place. It's an island with 8,000 people and my hometown has 3,000 people. So when I came to Split, uh, I just uh, started coming out to my friends and I made like this promise to myself that I will be the, the gayest Duye ever. <laughs> so I decided to go on Grindr, to Google uh, different gay places in Split and that's how I met my first boyfriend who then introduced me to the LGBT center in Split. Then one day we were at a party, a queer party called Zvierinjak and uh, this girl uh, came to our table and she was telling us about the meeting they will have uh, about organizing the Split Pride and I showed up at the meeting. It was like seven of us maybe and then by the end of the Pride it was just five of us left. <laughs> That's how I sort of got into the LGBT center and Pride organization and stuff like that. A couple of years earlier, Split Pride had had a really bad start. First Pride in Split ever was horrible. It was not organized by people from Split, it was organized by people from Zagreb. I mean, it was with really good intentions. It was in 2011. It ended up being a complete shit show. It was, like, I believe, around 40 people in the Pride Parade and over 10,000 people against the Pride Parade. People were taking plants out of the dirt and throwing them on the protesters, throwing oranges, throwing uh, ashtrays, everything they could get on the protesters. And it was very terrible. The next one was so attended. It had a lot of people just in a response to last year. So people really came out to show that Split is not this thing that, that it was last year. But then throughout the years, the Pride organization, it was really weird because there was not a clear NGO or like an organization that is organizing Pride. But when I came to Split, it was being organized by Split Pride and the LGBT Center of Split, which is a platform uh, with three NGOs, Split Pride, Queer Runner Hive, and Queer Sports Split. So thanks to Mirta and Nicolina, they are the main organizers of Split Pride, we have Split Pride today, like it is, which is a, a public protest and it still has like a little, at uh, the end, little party. It has a lot of events for the Pride Month. It's now, it's really wonderful, but it's more straight people in the Pride Parade and allies than gay people, which is what we try to, you know, get more people out each year. But even if it's just us who are not afraid, to go out, we walk for all those who can't. Because living as an openly queer person in Croatia isn't always easy. Being gay in Croatia, it's not that talked about in the media. And when it is talked about in the media, it's usually just for the Pride Month or in other like pop culture moments, it's, uh, you know, being the butt of the joke, you know, that somebody is gay. So for me, uh, I really didn't have any role models, any other gay people that I knew. So when I came to Split and I started seeing other gays and queers in general, uh, when I met some people who have been in relationships for over 10 years or just queers that are older, that really meant a lot to me. Queer representation really matters. I study nursing. I really don't see a lot of uh, queer representation in the medical fields, in the health fields. But it, it's mostly like artists, graphic design, which is also art, so artists, philosophy students and stuff like that. People who work in NGOs. I would really love to see more queer representation in healthcare in general. Back to the situation for queer people in Croatia, where religion is very prominent. Croatia is very Catholic in general and it's very uh, uh, sexist. It's very, you know, man is the head of the house, woman is there to serve the husband and the sons. So being any type of deviation, any type that's different from the norm, it's looked down upon. It used to have this image of like uh, being totalno uh, od drugih, completely different from others. So people from Split would be funky and weird, but nowadays it seems that a lot of people, it's just all the same people, all the same 
everybody looks the same, everybody acts the same. So being different in Split, it's nice because you have a very small community, but in like day-to-day -day situations, for example, for me in the hospital, there I'm not glad that I'm that different. <laughs> But in the, our small community, it, it really became, for me, uh, a safe haven and it's really nice. And that is thanks to the LGBT Center. So what then is this LGBT Center? It's a platform for other NGOs. After a Split Pride 2019, in which I helped organizing, I uh, continued doing events at the LGBT Center Split. I have been doing that for two, three years now. And we really gathered a community. And this year I noticed so many kids from high school, so many underage kids coming to these events. And that is amazing for me because when I first came to the LGBT Center, we didn't have high school kids. We had very few college kids. And now we have, we really have a crowd of underage kids who come there as their safe haven. I mean, it's, it's just game nights, movie nights. We don't drink alcohol or anything like that. So <laughs> they also have a few bigger projects. In the LGBT Center, we did a few European Solidarity Corps projects. That's how the LGBT Center is mostly funded by uh, project funds. And I had the opportunity to participate in two European Solidarity Corps projects. One was just, we called it the living room of the LGBT Center, where we did a lot of events, just hanging out and support groups. And the other one was more public health oriented, about sexual health and sex positivity, body positivity where we had uh, different experts in fields of sex, psychology, sexual health and stuff like that. So we had different lectures, uh, different workshops. We had uh, a Tupperware party, but it wasn't Tupperware, it was sex toys <laughs> and stuff like that. Juju also wants to mention some of the other NGOs that are a part of the LGBT Center in Split. Queer on a Herb, it's a queer culture NGO in Split and they're really a wonderful NGO. They bring all sorts of different queer artists to Split and they also do uh, book clubs about queer culture. They do radio shows about queer culture. So a lot of us had the opportunity to be interviewed and speak on the radio. It's a small community radio, internet radio, uh, but still it's a platform for queer voices which otherwise we did, wouldn't have. There are also other things going on within the queer community in Split. This year we started having a drag community in Split. This December we had our first drag show. It's not the first drag show in Split, but it's first Split drag show. So it's first Split drag queens. In Croatia we have one very famous drag collector called House of Flamingo. They're amazing, they do amazing stuff, but they are from Zagreb. And this was just a bunch of us from Split and I didn't perform, unfortunately. But all the queens that performed and one drag king, they were really wonderful. So really some stuff started to brew. The ball is it's going. I really hope and I really see a bright future for Queer Split. Do you think that queer communities are very important? I think it's important that we have safe spaces and queer communities like this everywhere, especially in Split, because Split is the second largest city in Croatia. And I feel like most of the queer culture is going on in uh, the capital. So it's nice to decentralize. We are also in Split. <laughs> just uh, to show the new kids who are coming that they are not alone and that everything will be good. Everything will turn out good. And I really feel like we are doing that because I'm seeing these kids and they're really dressing how they like. I met a trans couple. They are both trans and they are in high school, which is unbelievable to me because I couldn't even be out as a gay man in high school. Lastly, it's probably already really obvious, but Duja really loves his queer community. I also think it's, it's just important in general for a person to feel accepted, to feel like a part of community. I don't think I would stay in Split if I didn't have that queer community that I founded in Split. It really is a wonderful support network and I really feel like I could call any of the many people that I met in the LGBT Center and they would really be here for me in a second and vice versa. I think that's the advantage of having a smaller queer community. But when it's a smaller community, maybe it's a bit harder to date <laughs> because everybody dates everybody at one point. Uh, but you really have this close-knit family feel.
If you enjoyed watching that video, please like, comment, subscribe and share the video. I really appreciate you showing your love in that way. If you also want to support the channel financially, that's possible via Patreon, but really no pressure. See you next time.